What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and today we're looking at a primal grind on deck. Now, this weekend is two sets of regionals, and you can actually, you know, Breakpoint is legal. And one of the most hyped decks of this weekend is Sableye Garboder. It's everywhere, everybody knows about it, everybody's thinking about it. Time puzzle, all that stuff. You're, you know, people are going to play it. And this deck destroys that deck. And also, one thing to note is if you're going this weekend, Vessel Queen is probably going to be kind of scary to play since there's going to be so much Sableye Garboder, making it where Vessel Queen is a bad matchup. Like, it has a bad matchup for her. So, you don't want to play a Vessel Queen going in there knowing you have such a terrible auto loss. Now, there will still be Vessel Queen players in the deck or in the area for sure, but there's not going to be as many as there's been. So, Primal Grindon actually starts looking like to become a really good deck. And uh, this is my take of Primal Grindon. And I'll actually include some other stuff that you could add to the deck as well to make your own twist. Just basically, you know, if you have a skeleton, kind of. Uh, but if you're going this weekend, definitely think about Primal Grindon. I know everybody's probably thinking about it. But this is my take on Bothafet Primal Grindon. Now... Your main attacker is going to be Primal Groudon. It has the barrier trait, making it where no trainer's cards work on it, ex excluding tools and stadium cards. So, uh, lasers, crush tampers, Rosic, team flare grunt, Lysander, catcher, all that stuff does not work on Primal Groudon. That's why this card is such a good card, because same with Garboder says, hey, I'm playing Crush Timber. The Groudon goes, well, it's not going to do anything. Hey, I'm playing team flare grunt. Well, it's, it's not going to do anything. And that's why. Primal Garden becomes such a good card, and it has a really good attack. God Volcano does 100 damage, and if there's a Stadium card to play, this attack does 100 more damage, and you discard that Stadium card. So you do 200 damage, and then with strong energies, you can do 220, 240, 260, or 280, depending on the situation. Now also, Groudon has a semi-decent attack. Ripclaw does 30, flip a coin of heads, discard energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, so you could... Theoretically, discard some energies that way. Now, the deck does play four Wobbuffet, so the whole point of the deck is you start with Wobbuffet, you load up Groudon on the bench, then you set up a Groudon, and then you start pairing up another one on the bench while the active one is taking at least four prize cards. And so that's the theory of the deck. Wobbuffet's going to shut down abilities. You notice this deck doesn't play Shamans, doesn't play any ability Pokemon besides the Wobbuffet to shut down your opponent from playing abilities. Now, we play one Battle Compressor. This can discard your supporter cards and maybe fighting energies for Mega Turbo. Uh, one Computer search now you can play computer search and or scramble switch this is entirely up to you right now we're playing computer search because turn one you want a karina grab a groudon and a computer search and with computer search you're going to grab a, a tropical beach to draw up to seven cards in your hand now this is a really cool turn one that you could do but Scramble Switch, they're both good. It's going to be up to you to decide which one is better. Scramble Switch, you transfer all energies from what are you? You switch the active with one of your bench, and then you can move as many energies as you want from that Pokemon to the new Pokemon. So you move all four energies from that hurt Primal Groudon to a new Groudon, fresh and clean. You don't have to worry about it, which is pretty cool. One, uh, two Mega Turbos. You attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. And usually, you want to do this to your second Groudon. Um, you know, usually the first one, you can just manly power up. You don't usually use tur Mega Turbos, but you can. Don't get me wrong. You can use them if you see the situation. But you usually use it for the second one. So that way, you you know, you can get the second one out quicker while the first one, when the first one gets knocked out. You play one Professor Letter because you can Karina for a Professor Letter and a Fighting Pokemon to search deck for two Fighting Energies. One Super Rod, shuffle three to any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. This will get your Fighting Energies and your Groudons. One Switch to get maybe a Groudon out of the way because usually turn one, if you start with the Groudon, you can uh, maybe have a Wobbuffet. You can like somehow get a Wobbuffet. You can switch out of the active onto a Wobbuffet because you really don't want to put a Flow Stone on your ground. On this seems pretty use useless. Uh, one Tool Retriever, which is really cool. Choose two tools attached to your Pokemon and put them into your hand. This makes it where you can pick up your Spear Links. And then put down Focus Ashes if need be. Maybe a Sparkle Road, depending on the situation. Uh, maybe a Flow Stone even. You can Flow Stone the active Tool Retriever, pick it up, and then put it on a Wobbuffet. One Ultra Ball, and this makes it where you can Karina for an Ultra Ball to get out of Wobbuffet if needed, which is pretty cool. For VS Secret to reuse supporter cards. One AZ. Now, AZ is a really good card in this deck. 
Because, once again, we're going to talk about Sabine Garboder. Um, Sabine plays Target Whistles and Lysanders, so they do have the option to Lysander up a Wobbuffet and keep it stuck in the active spot. But, if you can AZ, pick up that Wobbuffet, put it back into your hand, you can make, you basically make it where your opponent has to do the whole Target Whistle Lysander play. And if they're doing that, they're kind of in a bad situation. You should just be able to be a seeker for AZ. And you can also AZ up Hurt Primal Groudons. Another hype deck for this weekend is going to be Sizotoad Crobat. And what you can do is when you switch the active to the bench, or like if you retreat your Groudon and you have a Groudon with like 200, H, like 200 damage on it, uh, you're like, oh, they can't Lysander up to knock it out, so they have to play, like, bats. And if they do that, they can't take a knockout on your bench, but you can AZ pick up the whole ground online, which is pretty cool. I've heard some people playing Cassie's as well, so you can pick, pick up the whole active. Shuffle that into your deck. Um, I'll pull it up real quick and show you what Cassius does. If you want to play that card over AZ, either one is fine. I can't spell Cassius. I can't spell Cassius. Oh, we're, we're, we're a Pokemon. Hold on a second. Let me show you what Cassius does. Real quick, if you don't know what that card does, there it goes. Uh, shuffle one of your Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. So this does work on the active as well. So does AZ, but AZ discards those while Cassius does not. Um, but it's up to you. Either one's fine. AZ or Cassius, you take your pick. I just picked AZ because it was already in the deck, I think. Uh, for Karina, search your deck for a fighting Pokemon and a item card. So... All these cards that we're talking about, you get with Karina. One Lysander, three in. One PCL. Heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions from one of your Pokemon. Now, this card is great. You just heal that 60 damage, and you can do this over and over again. Because Primal Ground is already a tank. He has 240 HP. And then if you're healing 60 per turn, which is, I mean, it's not, it doesn't seem like a lot. But since Primal Ground has 240 and just constantly taking knockouts, you can heal your Primal Ground all the way back up, which is amazing. And one second, I just messed up somebody, or messed up something. Oh, I can't believe I did this um, to this to this deck. One second. Usually when I play PCL, it has to be the only 4R card. I can't believe I did this. When you play PCL, she has to be 4R, and it has to be your only 4R. There we go. Now, oh, Zerosic. Oh, Zerosic messed me up too. Man, I, I I messed up. I did that wrong. Hold on. Let's, let's do it again. Hold on. We're making fixes. There we go. Now it's... Okay, so this is how you want to play the deck. You have to play only 4R Pokemon Sun Lady. There we go. All right, so... For Juniper, pretty standard. One Zerosic, discard a tool or special unit card attached to a Pokemon to play and discard it. And this is good for discarding DCEs, obviously. You can discard a DC off a Toad. Maybe if you do play against Vesselwain, you can uh, Zerosic a DC off of Vesselwain, maybe? I don't know, but Zerosic is definitely good. Uh, to get rid of Handringers as well, uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Zerosic's good, though. I'll definitely keep it in there. And you can definitely get rid of, like, Focus Ash's own not Groudons, like Lucario's. Uh, maybe on a Garbodor, even. I don't know. Zerosic's definitely there for DCs, though. That's why it's in there. Two Silent Lab, which, you, you know, like, when you attack with Groudon, you're going to blow up your stadium. But Silent Lab is definitely there for, like, the turn one. The turns you don't have Wobbuffet. You can just put down Silent Lab and say, hey, your basic Pokemon don't have abilities anymore, which is great. Uh, three Tropical Beach. And like I said, turn one, you're gonna Karina for a fighting Pokemon and a computer search. To get on Tropical Beach, you may use this effect. You draw it, you have seven, and you end your turn. It's a really good card because this deck does need a lot of setting up to do. Two Flowstone to go to Wobbuffet. Two Focus Sash, which is probably the MVP of this deck. If this fighting Pokemon has full HP, it would be knocked out. Instead of being knocked out, the HP comes 10, and you discard this Focus Sash, which is really, really cool. It does help a lot, especially against like Evental decks that load up with giant Evitals. Or maybe Gardevoir, Night March, all this stuff. Focus Ash can save you. Uh, two Spear Links, so your turn does not end. One Sparkling Robe. I know you can't see it right now. And basically, against Sableye, they can either Junk Hunt or they can Confuse Ray. And if they flip Confuse Ray, they flip Heads. Your Grindel's now Confused, and you have to flip for the Confusion. But Sparkling Robe says, hey... This Pokemon can't be affected by special conditions, so the Confusion Rare play doesn't even work, which is amazing. Uh, four Strong and six Fighting Energies, and that's the deck. Now, like I said, there's other things you can do. You can play the Scramble Switch. You can go down two Groudons. You can play, like, Robo Subs. Uh, you can play, like, Team Flare Grunts. I saw people playing Team Flare Grunts on some Groudons decks. There's a lot of different things you can do in this list. Like I said, Scramble Switch is another. Um, like I said, Robo Subs. I don't know. This is a version of the list I like. I know uh, there's some other people who like Hot Luchas and 
Landorus is in the deck as well instead of playing the Wobbuffet, but it's up to you to decide. This is my version of the Primal Guard on Wobbuffet deck, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know this introduction is probably really, really long, but you got to hear me talk about a lot of the cards and why they're in this Primal Guard on deck. But hopefully you enjoyed this video, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, you're putting against Gnome Honey Punny, playing a, uh, some kind of dark water, steel, colorless, all different colors of the rainbow, and we also card flap. Oh no. Alright, but we'll see what happens. What does Gnome Honey have for us today? I imagine it's some kind of Yavatal deck. Okay, so my opponent has no base Pokemon. We got a Groudon, we got a Spirit Link. Can we draw into a Wobbuffet is a question. There's a Fury Belt, some Dark Energy, so yeah, it's some, definitely some kind of dark deck. But let's see, can we get a Wobbuffet turn one? That'd be great to switch into. Oh, two Mulligan draws. That, oh, Maxis! Oh, but we have a, we have Wobbuffet. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, so we get some Mulligans. Come on, Wobbuffet. We have Switch in our hand, please. Let us draw into the Wobbuffet. Yes. Yes. Hey, shame and start. Even better. All right, so we got a we got a link, we got a silent lab, we got an end. So we have an okay turn one for sure. Uh, we can put the silent lab down, play the link, play the end. The only thing is, is if we draw to a uh, tropical beach, I'd be kind of sad. There we see compressor. Go to this card, three cards out of their deck. Probably like a Gallade, uh, Gallade Archeops Maxis. That might be the three cards they discard. Or maybe a Juniper if they don't have a, su a supporter card in their hand, but they have a Via Seeker and they can't achieve the uh, the Glade or the Archeops. I imagine he's going to go for the Archeops, probably not realizing that we have a Wobbuffet to go around that. Hopefully Wobbuffet's enough to do that. So there's an Archeops, there's a Glade. Oh, just an Archeops and a Dark Energy. Okay, okay. Oh, man, if he gets a turn one, I'll be super excited. There we an Ultra Ball. See an Ultra Ball discarding. Fury Belt and a Dark Energy. He's probably getting out of Yavatal. I doubt he'll get... Oh, a Hoopa. All right. The Hoopa is going to come down. And with the Hoopa, he'll probably grab a Keldeo, Yavatal, and maybe a Toad and or a Shaman. He has another Shaman. Or Jirachi. Uh, let's see what he decides to get. Keldeo, Yavatal, Yavatal. Okay, you'll get two Yavatals. Evetal, Evatal, whatever you call it. It's got so many different names. Uh, so double Evetal... E e e e e e e uh, Keldeo, and there's a Fighting Fury Belt going up to one of the Yavatals. Shaman, I'm fine with this. I'm actually really okay with this because now he can't use, um, he can't put down an Archeops. So set up for five, one, two, three, four, five. Can he get like a DCE Dark Patch this turn and start pounding out the Yavatal on the bench? There's a Flowstone going down to the Keldeo. Good rush in and retreat to the Hoopa. Maybe might be a good bet. Uh, we do have Silent Lab in the way in this turn as well. So a DC goes on to the one without the Fury Belt, which is very confusing. Uh, you definitely think it'd go the one with the Fury Belt, but maybe he plays Muscle Band to do plus 20 more damage. Like maybe he plays both like Fury Belt and Muscle Band. Hex Maniac, not really worried about that card. We don't play any, we don't play any support Pokemon. Really, so Computer Search, mm, interesting. All right, so we in Computer Search. Discarding the Zerosic and Juniper. And with this, we'll, we'll grab the Wobbuffet just to guarantee it this turn. We could grab a Tropical Beach, but I'm going to grab the Wobbuffet. Uh, put down the Wobbuffet. Put down the Groudon Spirit Link. Switch into the Wob. And we're going to end. And we're going to put both of us at six new cards. I think that might be an okay play. If we draw into Tropical Beach, we can use it and draw up to seven cards. Let's see, what do we get? All right, that's not what we really wanted, but we got a fighting energy. We can put down the act or the bench guy, and we could Karina getting another or getting a primal Groudon, and then maybe an uh, I don't know. No more way to search out Tropical Beach now because we already used our computer search. Maybe we'll grab like a Professor Letter. Yeah, Professor Letter seems fine. Uh, there's a the Hypnotoxic Laser trying to put our Wobbuffet to sleep. Does he go to sleep? But nope, nope, he stays awake. Thank you. Uh, DC to the active. We might just see a Sky Return for 30. Yep, Sky Return for 30. Gonna probably promote the Keldeo. It does have the Floatstone. Oh, Shaman. Okay, so Poison Damage 10. And on to our turn. All right, what do we top deck? A uh, Tropical Beach. So there we go. We'll get the Tropical Beach. Put down the Karina. With the Karina, we'll grab a Primal Groudon. And we'll grab a Professor Letter. Hopefully the letter's in the deck. Hopefully it's in here. There it is. All right, so grab the letter. <laughs> we'll put down the Primal Groudon. 
grab the press letter, and we're just gonna grab one fighting energy because we want to be able to chop the beach for more. Uh, which might seem crazy, but it'll be okay. So put a fighting energy in this guy, and we'll beach for three. All right, so we get another Groudon. Um, huh. We could Groudon Tool Retriever, and maybe get another Groudon ready to go. It's weird. He could also attack us with Evitol this turn as well. So there's a DC going to the active. And we'll, we'll see just another Sky Return. And go shuffle our hand, both hands in deck and draw six new cards. Let's see, what do we get off these six? Hopefully it's something good. Let's see. Okay, Strong Energy, Mega Turbo. So we actually can attack with Groudon next turn if he decides to go aggressive and attack with Evitol this turn. And if he does, we can punish him. So Dark Energy to that guy. Let's see, will he attack this turn or not? That's a big question. Nope, Sky Return for 30. Uh, it doesn't knock us out, but who does he promote now? He's kind of in a weird spot. Let's see. So he's going to promote this Evitol. Oh, man. Okay, so into our turn. Let's see. So we have the Karina. We're going to play the Karina. And with the Karina, we'll grab a Groudon and a Floatstone if it's in the deck. Let's see, a Floatstone in the deck. It is in the deck, so that's good. So grab the Floatstone. We will Ultra Ball, discard a Fighting Energy, and a Silent Lamp. It's not the best thing to do, but we'll do it. And we'll grab another Wob event. We'll put that guy down. So put down the Wob. Uh, put a Strong Energy on this guy. <clears throat> play down a Groudon. Put a Floatstone. Play a Mega Turbo. So now we can attack a Primal Groudon on this turn. And I'm not sure what our opponent could do the following turn. There's no real way or real threat he can knock, knock us out the following turn. So we're Gaia Volcano. Do 100, uh, 200 exactly. Yeah, 200. So I think two prize cards. Now that is Evitol. Yeah, this Evitol is kind of concerning because we had to touch another strong energy to this guy to actually knock out this guy because he has a Fighting Fury Belt. And we only hit for 200 right now. There we see a Vintage Screen. My opponent concedes the game. Uh, my opponent really didn't get set of that game. But we had a really, really good start. And that's why, like, Mega Turbo is in the deck because you get Ultra Ball. And out of nowhere, have a Primal Guard on. And we see, as, there's, like, past two, last weekend we had, you know, I didn't really see, no, no. I think there was one person who played Mega Turbo in the deck, but Mega Turbo is obviously really good. Uh, it's a really strong card in this deck, but we'll see one more game with, with this deck here in a second. So that one was kind of weird. Our opponent didn't really attack us. He kind of just sky returned with Shaman. I guess, I don't know. I don't like Hoopa in Evitol, and I guess that kind of showcases that, e that Hoopa in Evitol is kind of bad because you fill your bench up. You can't get the Arc Ops out or the Glade, whichever one you decide to get out. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second since that was kind of weird. Alright, we're putting a Stay Fierce, playing a Psychic, Lightning, Steel, Color Stick, so a different, bunch of different combos. We'll call heads like always, and no! We lost the coin flip, that's not good, but they're probably going to choose to go first, I imagine. Oh, we're going to go first! Interesting, that's very interesting. Alright, press done. Alright, wonder what we're playing against. Hey, those Mew sleeves look amazing. Shout out to Pokemon Mew 20th, uh, 20th Anniversary. These must be for, like, the Mythical Box Mew? I'm not 100% sure. Don't don't quote me on that. I don't even check the store either. They could be easily in the Pokemon store. I never check it. I should, though. I should check the store. Like, that's definitely something I should do. Uh, okay, I'm going to put a uh, card in the active. They're going to notice we mulligan. All right, let's try a number again. Come on, Wobbuffin. And... All right, so that's... Man, it's not. Like, it's okay. But we need a top deck like a Tropical Beach or a Karina. So, a Pumpkaboo. Alright, alright. Well, Ultra Ball, discarding a Fighting Energy and Sparkling Robe. Sparkling Robe's pretty much useless in this matchup. We will grab a Groudon. Come on now, Mr. Groudon. Now, we are weak to Psychic, so Pumpkaboo can easily knock us out next turn. We'll put a Strong Energy on the Groudon, and we will end our turn. We could put in the Spirit Link, but I'd rather focus Sash it if we could. So to stay fierce this turn. Let's see what happens. There's a compressor. If they discard two Wobb Fence, they can start knocking it out. Or two Pumpkaboos, they can start knocking out our Wobb Fence. Which is not good. Uh, we just gotta hope that they heavily rely on Shamans. Uh, three Lampets going to Discard Paw. Another Battle Compressor. Perfect. So two Battle Compressors coming on now. But like I said, if they heavily re rely on Shaman, they could be stuck in a weird spot where they don't have a Sporter. There's two Pumpkaboos and a Lampet being discarded. There's a Floatstone going down to Pumpkaboo. There's an Acrobite going to look at top two cards of their deck. Grab one, discard the other. They decide to discard an Acrobite. There's a Dimension Valley. 
which is really good because you need that to use the Night March attack. And what else do they have? There's a DCE Shaman. Can't use that Shaman. Sorry, bud. <laughs> That's a good thing about, like I said, good thing about Night March decks, they heavily rely on uh, those Shamans. And we'll see a Night March. All right. So 240 to a Wob Fit. Now they held on to the Shaman. They could use it this turn. So our turn, what do we top deck? A uh, Focus Sash. So Focus Sash to Groudon. Put a Fighting Energy active. And we'll go for a Rip Claw. Rip Claw, if we flip heads, we could discard that DC, which could be great. And yes! We discard that DC and all to our opponent's turn. All right, that's good. That's good news. So let's see. What does Stay Fierce have for us now? Do they have a supporter card? Because they put down the Shaman pretty early. Oh, there's a Computer Search in their hand. Yep, there's a Computer Search. All right, discarding a VS Seeker or something. Might get a Shaman, get a Sycamore. I'm not sure what they decide to get. A DCE. R really strange. All right, so our turn. Okay. We will Rip Claw. All right, so we knock on the Pumpkin Boo. Tails, we don't discard the DC. We'll go down to five prize cards. And there's a Silent Lab. Let's see, what does our opponent top deck? That's the big question. Okay, a, a, D, a Metal Energy City active. Owned to Archer. What do we get? Uh, in. Um, I'm not going to play the in. I'm going to put down Silent Lab. Silent, Silent Lab and we're just going to Rip Claw. Try and discard that Metal Energy. Come on, Rip Claw. No, tell us. All right. Let's see, what does our opponent top deck? Don't give it. Oh, a Trainer's Mill. Let's see, what do they get? All they need is a DC and a Night Marcher. They can, they can win the game. There's a Dimension Valley. That's not what they needed. All right, we're good. So Dimension Valley coming down, going to buff that Silent Lab. In our turn, what do we get? A Karina. So with the Karina, we can grab a Primal Groudon and a Computer Search. Oh, we should have grabbed another. Oh, we should have grabbed a regular Groudon. Okay, so we're going to grab a Computer Search. All right, so we're going to, yeah, we're going to grab Computer Search. We will, we'll just Primal Evolve. We'll see what happens. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. But if my next turn, my opponent doesn't have anything, we could knock him out next turn. Oh, an Acro Bike. Oh, no. All right, all right. Did we mess up? I meant to grab another Groudon. That, that would, that's definitely the right play. I should have grabbed a Groudon. Not the Primal Groudon because they can knock us out this turn. What does that Acro Bike get them? They discard a Via Seeker. There's another Acro Bike. Okay, they keep on digging. Oh, man. What's that one card? There's a Shaman. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so Shaman set up for six. All right. Oh man, there's a Mew. Okay, there's a Bronzor. Mew. Oh no, it's not over yet. There's a Battle Compressor. Go discard three cards out of the deck. What will they discard? They are down two DCEs as well. They're yeah, they're down two DCEs, which is kind of kind of bad for them for sure. Man, I should have got another Groudon. Oh man, they get another. They get attack off the turn. We lose. All right, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, man. Kind of nervous. Kind of nervous. <laughs> now, next turn, we, like I said, we can get a knockout next turn for sure. Like, for sure, for sure, we get a knockout. We can VS Seeker for Karina. Okay, so there's some cards being discarded. Do, do they have anything, though? That's the question. What do they discard? Let's see. Battle Compressor, Trainer's Ball, Battle Compressor? No, they discard Trainer's Ball, Battle Compressor. All right. Let's see what Stay Fierce has. Are they, maybe they'll let it retreat into the bronze or, okay, no, they're going to pass. Woo! All right. So we will be a seeker for Karina. Yes. Oh, and we have a computer search. All right, so we're going to Karina. We will grab a Groudon and a Mega Turbo. Yes. Come on down, Mega Turbo. Please do not be prized. All right, so there's a Mega Turbo. One is prized, though, so we'll grab the Mega Turbo. Put down the Groudon. Put down a Spear Leak. Uh, strong Energy. Mega Turbo. Knockout. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good turn. Uh, we'll Guile Volcano. Knock out the Active. Going down to three prize cards. And they don't have a Dimension Valley as well. All right, so going down to three. Let's see what happens. There's a Groudon and a Primal Groudon. So we have the Primal Groudon for next turn. That's good. And we have Computer Search for a Juniper, which is great as well. Here comes a Mew, which we can knock out. There's a Bronzong coming down. We can see some Metal Links happening. All right. Let's see what the Stay Fierce have for us. 
Oh, man. So, Metalinks, let's see. Where does that Metal Energy go? Probably onto the Shaman. I think it Metal Links twice to the Shaman in the Sky Return, but I guess not. Hmm. Let's see. What does our opponent do? What will they do? That's the question. So, there's a, psych a Metal Energy going out to the Shaman and onto our turn, okay? We get a Wob Fence, so put down the Wob. Put down a Floatstone. <clears throat> put down a Primal Groudon. Computer Search. Discard these two guys. And we're going to grab a good old Juniper. We could grab PCL, but I don't know what that does for us. So we'll grab Juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards, and let's get some energies. All right, so we got an energy on this guy. We'll play Battle Compressor. <clears throat> we'll discard the Lysander, a Zerosic, and an AZ. So that's some good cards to discard. And we can just knock out this Mew. We do Guile Volcano. does enough. It does 140. Okay, here we go. All right, so 140 going down to one prize card. And what? My opponent has to get an attacker this turn. Man, if we had one more, uh, if we had one more Night Marches, we could. Uh, if we had one more Mega Turbo, we could get two Grindons. And there we go. Victor Screen coming down. That was a weird game for sure. Ripclaw definitely did some work that game. Good old Ripclaw helping us out, flipping that hands, discarding that energy. Alright, so there we go. And uh, there is Primal Ground on Wobbuffet. You kind of see how strong the deck is. It was definitely a weird game to watch, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you kind of understand the concept of Primal Ground on. It's a very, you know, easy concept. You sit behind a Wobbuffet, set up a Ground on, and then eventually just kind of win. Like, you just knock out whatever's in the active three times. And while you're doing that, you're slowly set up another Primal Groudon on the bench. We saw that on the bench. We had another Groudon. We're going to put a second energy on it. And then we had a Mega Turbo. So if he would have knocked us out, <clears throat> we could have energy, Mega Turbo, energy, and then maybe play a Karina to get a uh, Tool Retriever. And then we could Tool Retriever. Pick up the focus, uh, pick up the the spear link, and then grab a focus sash, putting on that guy, and that makes it where we can attack twice, uh, because you know we can, you know, when we sit at the ground on, we attack, then they can attack us, not knock us out, no matter what, because we have the, the focus sash, and then we can win the game. So that's how we would have took our last two prize cards if. He had another Night Marcher. So there you go. That is Primal Groudon. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Thursday. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. We're so close to 4,000 subscribers. But hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.